I'm Councilmember Ian Hugh, and welcome to Glendale Today. We're going to feature three businesses right on Glendale Avenue. La Prisma Bakery, Tis the Cook, and also Polo's, a great Italian restaurant with live music. We're at Polo's, and with me is the owner of Polo's right here, and he's going to cook something for us. And Polo's is right on Glendale Avenue, 4935 West Glendale Avenue. What are you going to make, Chef? Well, right now, uh, we'll try to make some mussels with uh, white wine sauce and uh, Polo's pasta. I put my name because I create that recipe, and uh, I think it's uh, something that really like to eat vegetables, so uh, that's what I'm going to try to make right okay. now, Polo's pasta. So, Polo, you said this is one of your recipes. I know I like your tequila lime salad dressing. <laughs> I know. I know. I, you uh, keep that a, a deep secret. It's just uh, I using that for lunch because um, uh, I'm from part of Mexico, so I like tequila. And my grandfather was from Italy, so I like to mix some tequila, some uh, Italian. So, I mean, it's just that's why I put some te put tequila lime dressing in it because I use tequila. You know, but. Uh, This is Polo's pasta. Polo's pasta. I just had to add a little bit of goat cheese in it to make it more color. And that's Polo's pasta. <laughs> this is the mussels with the white wine sauce. It's just garlic and oil and uh, put some white wine, some uh, lemon sauce that I have already made. Just add it just to make a little thicker butter. <clears throat> and, uh, and that's it, it's right here. This is the lobster raviolis. Polo, when did you start cooking? Well, actually, um, when I was 13 years old, my grandfather started teaching me how to make bread, how to make pizzas, like simple stuff. But then uh, he died when I was 14. So I had to work with somebody else. And uh, I really was lucky. I have a lot of people who teach me how to cook. But then one of my uh, boss sent me to school, to culinary school. They like how I cook, and so it's like, okay, well, I want to send you to school so you can learn more. And that's how I went to, to school uh, and all my life, working in the kitchen. Yeah. So when did you open your restaurant in Glendale? Uh, that was eight years ago. Yeah, It's going to be eight years in uh, April. We'll be at the party. Good. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a big party. So I moved over here, and the first place I find for rent when I... That was this one, and I really like it. And then I like the area, and I always live in Glendale now for like uh, probably 12 years. We live in the same neighborhood. Yeah. So uh, I like this area, and I stay here. I, I like Glendale. Uh, and Glendale likes polos. Yeah. <laughs> and so I really like this, this area here. But you came in and rebuilt it, made it look Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, this uh, is nothing like it. This was really, I had to replace the whole thing. I remodeled all the place. It was totally different. So I changed it, put the bar in it, yeah. and uh, the piano. So it's just. You know, you know what I really like about polos? You can make a reservation. Because you see it's crowded. All the tables are reserved. So I can make a reservation. I know I have a seat when I get here. The lobster ravioli. I have some uh, scallops, shrimp, and spinach, and the vodka cream sauce. Yeah. 
Paul, thanks for allowing us back in the kitchen. Uh, Tell me your you. secret uh, recipe. You're welcome anytime. You guys want to come in my kitchen? Uh, I, I have a reserve table and the entertainment's starting. Okay, so I, I guess I got to cook for you guys. Too. That's right. Thank <laughs> okay, you. Okay, thank you. I'm with Beth, and she runs a downtown, downtown Glendale Jazz Jam here at Polo's on Thursday night. Thanks, Ian. Um, Polo has uh, extended an uh, offer to us about a year ago to bring our Jazz Jam. We've been here for three years. We hire the best jazz musicians we can get from Phoenix, and we have a wonderful ambiance here between the, the quality of the food, the service, the atmosphere, and the quality of the musicianship. We have a very warm environment where people come every week. Of course, we're trying to get more Glendale people here. We do offer the jazz inclusive with the food and having a drink. And um, if you want to see the quality of the music, you might go to Facebook, uh, Downtown Glendale Jazz Jam. And um, Mark has recently recorded some of the jams, and he's uh, put some of the photos. And I think you'd be impressed with what you see. But it's, um, we were tired of driving to Scottsdale and all over the town to get live music, so we decided to do it right here in our own hometown. I, I, I've, been, I've been to the jam one time, and it was fantastic. Did you like it? Oh, yes. And, and they also have music here, what, Wednesday night, Friday nights, and Saturday. we're here Saturday night. Um, I think it's because it's such a cozy atmosphere that people respond to that, and the quality of the service and the food. And um, we have had some exciting people. We've had some major New York players drop in when they were in town. That's what's great about music. Isn't that great? And Nicole Pesci, the wonderful pianist, is coming next week with Justin Robin and Chad Isinger. And uh, we've had very, very uh, many local people come that have been very successful here and been very well appreciated. Great. Yeah. We want everybody to come down and see them. Well, it's all about Glendale. We're Glendale residents and we, we want to provide uh, service for the people here. We're so, doing it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>